What's up? Welcome back to IT Security Labs. And today we're doing day nine of Advent of the Cyber 3 Challenge. And on this challenge today we have Wireshark. So it looks like we found out that there has been some network traffic from the Grinch Enterprise that they've been doing. We're curious, we want to find out what did the Grinch do on our network. And we're given a packet capture from Wireshark. All right, first we need to download the PCAP file, so click download. Once you download the file, you can just open it. If you're doing it in the attack box, this will be provided for you, but I'm just doing it here. First question says, in the HTTP GET request section, which directory is found on the web server? So we need to find the HTTP GET request. So we need to search for HTTP dot request method equals to GET. And here's the GET request. So let's follow TCP st HTTP stream on one of these and see what we can find. So they did a GET on the login page. So that's what we say, come here, type login. And that's the correct answer. What is the username and password used in the login page in the HTTP POST section? So the request method, we're just going to change from GET to POST and see if we can see the username and password we also are looking for the user agent here so http request method equals to post post is when you submit something to a website so we only have a few here in our post and we can look at this data here or we can follow this it doesn't really matter the easier it is for you the better I, I like to follow it. So username is called Maskiri and password is called to Christmas. So whatever this is here. All right. So it's Maskiri and pa Christmas 2021, just like that. What is user agent name that has been sent in the post section? If we look down here in the next request in the user agent, this is the whole user agent. We copy that. Okay. So we're almost, we're making a lot of progress. In the DNS section, there is a text DNS entry. What is the flag in the message of the DNS entry? So we need to look for DNS traffic. And up here, they did tell us how to look for DNS entries. By saying UDP port is equals to 53, because that's what DNS uses. All right, so this is all DNS entries. There is a text DNS entry. We're looking for a text packet. So just looking at this here, and this is the text packet. Let's follow the text packet here. Follow the UDP stream. And here it looks like a flag. Packet, uh, okay, try hack me. All right. In the FTP section, what is the FTP login password? If you go back up here in the FTP, they did tell you VFTPD, that's the service that we're looking for. Okay, so TCP port is goes to anyone. So here is all the TCP uh, traffic. And you see that since FTP does not encrypt um, the traffic, everything is, is in plain text. I see the user is try hack me FTP. The password is this here. Try hack me three with an exclamation mark. So let's just follow that quick so that it's easy to see. This is the pass. And then we submit. In the FTP section, what is the FTP command used to upload secret.txt so we did an upload for secret.txt we need to see what command was ran or oh, entering password mode then it's the store command str it's right there and submit in the ftp section what is the content of secret.txt so we need to go and see if we can find secret.txt all right so to find the data that was transferred using FTP. We use filter FTP.data. And this should give us 
the actual data that was transferred. And here is a packet of secret.txt. And we actually do have some information in there. If we follow this for nice to see, we get a flag. So what exactly do they want? Maybe this and submit. So today was very easy using Wireshark. If you are not familiar with Wireshark, I encourage you to spend some time learning about Wireshark on Try Hack Me. There's a room probably for Wireshark, but this was really fun. If you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.